Hello my friends, there are less than 80 days left until my favorite time of the year, which of course is Christmas. So I'm deep into my holiday shopping already and while I'm not suggesting that you need to start doing your holiday shopping now, it got me thinking about some potential luxury gift ideas and don't worry we're not making this a luxury gift guide at least not yet, but I still wanted to share with you a few of my luxury favorites from some of our favorite luxury brands that are under and around the $500 price tag. And obviously you guys know me, I'm not going to recommend something that just adds to the clutter. I wanted to bring you pieces that actually add value to your collection. So they do pack a punch, even though they are not nearly as expensive as some of the other more popular pieces from these fashion houses. So if you'd like to see my favorite pieces from brands like Hermes, Chanel and Dior that do pack a punch, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and keep on watching. Let's dive straight in and why don't we start with a brand that I don't actually own any pieces from. I don't know why that is because I have been tempted and intrigued by this brand for years at this point. And actually next week I'll be traveling so I'm thinking about stopping by one of their boutiques because it's genuinely a brand that I would love to explore more of which is Moina. Now I did do a video on Moina I want to say a couple of years ago just comparing some of their flagship bags to Hermes's most iconic pieces because let's be honest there are one too many similarities. But one thing that I do have to say is that Moina's quality is just outstanding. If you buy your mess because of the quality, I would actually recommend that you look at some of Moina's pieces because some of the leathers they use, the craftsmanship, the techniques, are definitely, I don't want to say that they are comparable to Hermes's because I do still think that Hermes is just a creme de la creme, but they come as close as a brand possibly can. So Moina is definitely a brand that I see in my future. I'm not exactly sure if there are any bags that I would add to my collection, but there are a few pieces of SLGs that I would love to test for myself. So why don't we start with two SLGs which I would love to put on your radar. They're both from Moina's envelope collection, which is a really, really simple idea. If you love things like the Calvi or Hermes' take on envelope, this is definitely something that you really enjoy. These pieces are made of the softest, most buttery grain skins, and they come in a huge range of different shades. So I would definitely recommend that you look at either their envelope card holder, which as the name suggests, is just a really, really simple envelope design made of leather. And these will fit nothing more than a handful of cards, which if you're someone like me who usually uses their phone to pay for things, but you still like to have a few cards in your back pocket or in your bag, I think you will very much enjoy this design. If you like to be really organized, if you like to have certain cards in certain slots, this is not going to be for you because this only features, it's genuinely just a little envelope that you're going to put your cards into. But if this is not for you, there is still another piece in this collection that I would love to highlight, which is their passport holder, which again is just a simple leather envelope that will fit your passport. And you might be thinking, how is this envelope going to protect my passport? It's going to be such a hassle to constantly take my passport in and out of this envelope. I much prefer a design that just goes on the front and back of my passport as a cover, which I used to think that way too, but the more I think about it, the more these little envelope designs make sense. So this would be a great idea. Or also when we move on to Hermes, they also have, I think it's called the Tarmac passport holder, which I never really understood. But the more I think about it, the more sense it makes. Because if you really think about it, when you go through immigration, if you are entering a new country or you go through customs, they usually ask you to take your passport out of its cover. So there's really no point to having an actual cover on your passport. It's much easier to keep them in a little envelope like this. So you can really easily take them out of the envelope when you're using them. And when you don't have a need for your passport, you can just put them back. You guys will have to let me know what you think about this idea because I have never heard anyone recommend these pieces, which to me just makes no sense because to me, these make the most incredible luxury gifts. Personally, when I buy a gift for someone, 
I like to buy pieces that I know they wouldn't spend their own money on, yet there are pieces that they would be able to enjoy on a regular basis. I don't like to buy pieces that people I know won't use because at the end of the day, no matter how pretty the piece is that you buy, it's going to be a waste of money if they cannot enjoy the piece that you bought them. So I like to buy pieces that they're able to enjoy more regularly and every time they do so, they are reminded of you. So I think this would make an incredible gift idea, which are designer keychains. And my go-tos for designer keychains would be Loewe. Loewe has a ton of different incredible keychains. I personally love their classic anagram keychain, which comes in a ton of different colors and a ton of different finishes. You can buy it in a high shine, just traditional metal polished finish. You can buy it in some fun colors, even with a matte finish. I think they are so beautiful. And obviously they are going to be expensive for a keychain, but if you know someone who loves luxury, someone who's just recently moved, or if you know someone who constantly loses their keys, I think this would make such a thoughtful little gift. And if you know that they are into a certain brand, you can definitely see if that particular brand creates keychains, which I think is not something that most people would buy for themselves, but I'm sure that they would be more than happy to receive them as a gift. So Loewe is definitely a go-to. I love their anagram keychain, as I mentioned. I also love, they have a little whale, which is actually a leather pouch that you can attach your keys onto. I also love some of Bottega's keychains. And you guys know that I recently picked up, well, actually it wasn't even that recent at this point, but I bought my first Louis Vuitton key pouch in Berlin at the beginning of this year, which I still love and use. In fact, I love it so much that since it's been raining so much, I often just carry that pouch out. It fits a handful of cards. So if you need a credit card, if you need an ID, if you need some loyalty cards, you can put them in there alongside with your keys and you really don't need anything else. So I have been loving that key pouch, which now I know I'm really late to that game of the Louis Vuitton key pouches. And no matter if you get them from Loewe, Bottega, Louis Vuitton, or the person's favorite brand, whatever it may be, make just the most thoughtful little gift. Moving on to this next brand, I have to be honest with you, it was quite difficult for me to choose something from, which is not because I don't love this brand, but it's simply because they are so insanely expensive at this point and I wasn't going to recommend you something just for the sake of it. I wasn't going to come on here and tell you to buy a card holder or buy a little wallet from this brand if I wouldn't feel comfortable spending my own money on those pieces because yes you can find pieces under and around the $500 range but I really don't think that they're worth your money, which we're talking about Dior here. And unfortunately, as disappointing as it sounds, I really don't think that Dior has too much to offer under and around $500, at least not pieces that are worth your money, except a couple of them. So the two pieces that I would recommend that you look into are some of their silk scarves, which I know when we talk about silk pieces, we almost immediately think of Hermes, which is for a reason. Hermes's silk pieces and silk prints are, some of them are almost like a piece of art, but at the same time, they can be quite loud and colorful, which I understand isn't everyone's cup of tea. I mean, I personally, I don't think I would ever be able to pull off an Hermes silk scarf because of their prints. So if you're looking for something a little bit more subtle and a little bit more muted, Dior is a great brand to turn to because the quality is going to be outstanding and their prints are really understated, but understated in the best way possible. My personal favorite print is their Zodiac print, which makes sense because I'm obsessed with anything astronomy or astrology. So it's no surprise that this is a print that would be right up my alley. But if you're not looking to buy any silk pieces from Dior, but you're looking to buy a gift for someone, I would highly recommend that you look into their home collection because they have some incredible hidden gems there, including this water bottle, which is a lot more affordably priced than some other water bottles out there. So if you're looking to buy someone a gift that they can use on a regular basis, that is a true treat, this I think would be an incredible gift to buy. As much as I hate on Chanel, I can't deny the fact that anyone would be impressed to receive a Chanel box as a gift. And it's also a great brand to go to if you're looking to treat yourself. 
but it can be quite challenging to find something at this point that is under or around $500. But there is one piece from Chanel which I have always loved and I am surprised that it's still within our budget, which is going to be their mini pouch, I believe it's called, which is basically this tiny little pouch bag that comes in a ton of different colors, a ton of different finishes. You can pick it up with some more classic Chanel designs and features, but you can also find it in seasonal prints, in seasonal colors, with seasonal hardwares that are only around for a season or two. And I think these make some of the most incredible additions to your collection. If you already have a ton of different card holders and wallets, and you're looking to buy something that you can use as both, or you can use it to organize your bags. This is an incredible piece to add to your collection or to buy as a gift. So it's definitely something that I feel like any luxury lover would be over the moon to receive or get for yourself if you're looking to buy something new from Chanel that isn't nearly as ridiculously priced as some of their more popular pieces. I mean, I'm genuinely shocked that this piece is not a thousand dollars yet. I mean, I'm sure we'll get there, so I shouldn't jinx it. But for now, these pieces you can pick up under and around $500, depending on the finish and the hardware that you pick it up with. But I genuinely don't think that you can go wrong with any one of them. You can use these as wallets, as card holders, or as just a little keep all to carry all your essentials in one, especially if you often switch up your bags. I think having these little organizers are the best way to go. And then last but not least, we have to mention RMS here. And I, I am not going to spend too much time talking about RMS here because I do want to do a dedicated video sharing all my RMS recommendations under five, $600 maybe, if that's something that you would like to see from me just give this video a thumbs up so I know that's something that you would be interested in seeing because I have so much to share from Hermes. So I'm not going to spend too much time here because we could genuinely be here for like 20 more minutes. But two pieces that I wanted to mention, which I actually have down here, one of which you guys know I love, it is the little bullied travel case, which comes in a ton of different colors. And I believe three sizes at this point, I want to say when was the last time I talked about this? I think it was fairly recently, was it? I think it might have been my SLG video where I ranked every single one of my SLGs, which if you haven't seen that, um, make sure to have that video linked up here and also down below. I think I talk about I talked about this piece in that video too, which is not surprising because I love this piece. Similar to the Chanel pouch, it's something that you can definitely use as a wallet. I personally wouldn't because I like my wallets to be a little bit more organized, but you could. You could obviously use this as a toiletry bag. I just have some things like band-aids, lip balms, hand creams, little fragrance samples in here. Just things that I always want to have on me, especially when I'm flying or traveling. I always have one of these with me. I usually have a couple of, you know, pills for headache and stuff like that. This is basically just a little emergency kit in my bag, but if you wear makeup, you can definitely use this as a makeup case, or you can even buy some of the larger sizes to use as a dedicated toiletry bag. And I have also carried these bags out on their own as tiny little pouch bags, which I have always loved. And for the quality, I think they're pretty reasonably priced. I think that they could be a lot more expensive than they are. So if you love the idea of these, definitely add this to your collection. I obviously have them in black and then I have the mini size. This is the mini one. And then I also have the medium size specifically for traveling. So these I adore. And then another piece, which I think I also mentioned in that SLG video of mine is something that I have not been using as often as I used to. And that's purely because I got a bigger MacBook and it no longer fits, but it is my Neopane pouch, which is a little dusty because I haven't used it in quite a while, but I should definitely go back to using it because yes, I mainly use this as, or I used to use this as a little MacBook sleeve, but you could use this on its own as a clutch bag. You could also use this as a toiletry bag if you prefer something of this shape and this size over the bullet case. I know people who use these as their makeup and toiletry bags. You could also use these to help organize the bags that you already have. 
to store your documents. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. There's so much that you can do with these pieces that I love having them in my collection. And also these are great pieces to have in your suitcase. So if you travel a lot, you have a lot of documents that you carry around, or I have also used these actually as backing cubes, not this particular one, but the one that I had previously that I lost. So I mean, there's so much that you can do with these pieces. If you're a fan of Hermes and you're looking to buy something that isn't going to break the bank, but is a truly multifaceted piece, I would highly recommend that you look into the Neobin pouches, which these I think also come in three different sizes. And I think this brings us to the end of today's video. These were all the pieces that I wanted to share with you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And while you're down there, let us know in the comment section if you have any other recommendations for luxury pieces that are worth the money but are under and around the $500 price tag. I cannot wait to hear your recommendations because I know how insanely creative you are. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon.